floor <laughs> of this extensive collection. Hey, Ashley. Hi guys, good morning. So this is the thing. This is so cool because it's kind of uh, uh, Governor Jerry Brown's victory lap. So it's perfect that we're here today. But take a look around if you're just tuning in. Uh, this is Carrie, or Carrie here. I'm so sorry. Carrie, you've been collecting for about 50 years, yes. over 500 items. You're one of the biggest collectors in the state of California when it comes to Jerry Brown. Now our last shot froze. So what I was asking you before, what is it about Jerry Brown that you love so dearly? I think it's, it's, a, it's a passion for history, and Jerry's been one of the most interesting political figures of the last 50 years in American politics and, and on the world stage. Yeah. So that's why. And your collection really started back in 1974 during his first run for governor. Uh, we talked about that earlier, but I want to show you this side. Now, this is so cool. I said this earlier. You have all the tea, so the young kids like to say. Now, before shows like Entertainment Tonight, all we had were magazines and tabloids and things like Newsweek. So here's a great headline, the pop politics of Jerry Brown. There's a woman standing right, or sitting rather, right next to him. He was dating that woman. Tell me this story right here. Uh, this is... Um, singer Linda Ronstadt, and in the late 70s, Jerry was the pop icon. He was being, uh, he had ran for president in 76 and was the media darling. They just, he was so interesting, sleeping on a mattress in Sacramento, the Blue Plymouth. He went on an African safari with Linda Ronstadt, and Newsweek, and I suspect a lot of other uh, me medias, covered him on that trip. Yeah, it's so neat. Um, take a look at some of these pins here, Mother Teresa. I mean, this is such a cool pin. How did you even get your hands on that? Uh, the Mother Teresa pin came from a fellow collector, uh, and after he lost the U.S. Senate seat in 1982, uh, he went to India and Japan to sort of do some soul searching and rediscover himself, and he spent some time helping Mother Teresa uh, tend to the poor. Wow, so neat. Now, do me a favor here, Carrie. Grab that bottle of whiskey. You said there's a really neat story behind it. It actually has Jerry Brown's name on it, so show, hold that up for them and tell me about this. This is uh, from Jerry Brown's run as Secretary of State. A lot of people may not know he is first elected or second elective office was Secretary of State in, in 1970. Uh, this bottle is made for, I guess, a special event. It's bourbon, which you don't normally associate with Jerry Brown, but it's the only Secretary of State piece I have in the collection. Wow, it's so cool. I mean, I, you guys, honestly, with everything here, we could be here for five hours if we had the time to do it. I mean, he has everything from anti-pins. So if you take a look on that side, there's a poster here. Uh, somebody did a documentary on his father, California State of Mind. Again, if only we could be here for another few hours, but we cannot. <laughs> but the good news is I think we're going to be running a story a little bit later on CBS 13, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thank you for letting us into your home, Carrie. Thank you very much. All right, guys, back over to you. What a collection. I know. Right. So much history.